today and you get out into Livingston and Oakland County and there's those little bullseyes of one inch plus rain uh, generally north and south of I-96. One other thing I want to take a look at and this is the 30 day rainfall deficit and we'll sort of broaden it out for you here uh, and this is taking into account the rain that we've seen today still below average for the last 30 days so even though this was much needed rain uh, it didn't really uh, give us everything that we needed and hopefully we'll see some more as we get further into the forecast. 92 today so that continues our streak of 90 degree days. We definitely have one more tomorrow but Friday is going to be a question and we'll see why here in a second. Rain's cooled things off considerably out in the west zone. 76 in Howell, 77 in Ann Arbor but everybody else in the 80s but man that humidity is muggy and even oppressive in some spots when that dew point gets over 70 that's where we start looking at tropical air. And thank goodness that those temperatures have come out of the 90s. However, tomorrow heat index readings in your four zone forecast are going to be close to 100. We'll call it 99 in a lot of spots. A lot of upper 90s here in the south zone as well. 98 in Onstead, 99 in Adrian, maybe 100 for that heat index at times in southern parts of Lenawee County. Mid to upper 90s for the heat index out west and our north zone tomorrow, even near the lakeshore. Still looking at heat index readings over 90 degrees. So tomorrow we think is going to be a very similar set setup where we start dry and then see thunderstorms start to pop as the temperatures start to rise in the afternoon. Friday we've got a cold front coming through and the timing is going to be critical. This model showing that we'll start to see some development around noon so there's a chance that may keep the west zone out of the 90s but again it's really going to depend on the timing of that. Otherwise lows tonight going down to 72 and of course we're going to stay humid. 95 tomorrow. Heat advisory continues tomorrow and so does that air quality alert so just keep that in mind. 89 on Saturday, so not much relief over the weekend. At least it's not a 90 degree finish, but we do have more of those as we get into next.